Don, we're here on this beautiful island of Vieques in Puerto Rico, Conference of Physics of Information. Um, many of your colleagues here believe that information is not just a description of reality um, and a mirror of reality, but at some deep level is the most fundamental thing about reality, literally the ground of being, uh, bits of information. Uh, you're a quantum physicist, you believe in God. Uh, you can't have information being the ultimate reality if you believe in God. Well, I would certainly believe that God is the, you know, the ultimate source of, of the reality. And he, he has created a physical world. And I think he has put information in it, that, that, that information is physical, as was it Rolf Landauer said. And I think Andrew Briggs, who's another Christian who's here at this, at this conference, has emphasized that, that we have embodied information. And so maybe it's a little bit like in the prologue of the Gospel of John, that the word became flesh, that... I don't think this, the information we're talking about physics, I don't think this is the word of God, but it, it, it's an interesting parallel. That in some sense, God has created a physical universe in which there's, there seems to be information embedded in it. But I do think, you know, it's information about something. So I guess I would think that even within our world, I would think our conscious perceptions are more important than information, but information is, is a very useful way of talking about the universe. And of course, beyond the universe, I believe God is far more important, he's the, he's the source of everything, you okay. know, of everything concrete. So God created the universe. I mean, there are two ways you can look at it. You can look at the equations of uh, quantum physics uh, uh, and general relativity um, and, and, and see how information can be used to describe those and, and right. learn about them. Or you can believe that in some deep sense that those, those equations have emerged out of some some uh, binary, complex, or maybe very simple uh, um, uh, structure of an information-designed reality. Yes, I mean, of course, if, if, if different ways of looking at, in some sense, lead to all the same results in the ontology, then I, I would say that, in some sense, they're equivalent descriptions. There, it, it, there's neither one is really to be favored over them. Now, of course, if, if one description left something out that I believe really exists, I mean, for example, if, if one level left consciousness out and just said consciousness didn't exist, then I wouldn't believe it. And, and simply, of course, if of course if these are descriptions of the universe, they shouldn't be saying about whether or not God exists. Yeah. But I mean, if they were extended to say that God didn't exist, then again, I wouldn't I wouldn't believe yeah, it. I, I, I don't think either one either right. one might like to do that. But they, I think logically, nobody would say that you can prove God doesn't exist by any any of this stuff. I don't think that's an issue. Right, right. But what is an issue is uh, the emergence of the physical laws of quantum mechanics from a uh, an information generating ground of reality. That in some sense there are rules or whatever of binary um, uh, uh, activities that bubble up into the laws of physics or is uh, information and the, and the mathematical things kind of descriptions of the same thing? Yes, I guess I would think of the laws as more basic. I, I mean, it's hard for me to see exactly how the, the laws come out from sort of information in some prior sense. I mean, maybe, the, you know, I suppose this is a research program that's being pursued and, you know, I'm not one that understands it well enough to be directly involved in it. I mean, I can talk about information emitted by black holes and as a description of, of, of things, but as, as a basis, I, I, I don't really understand it, but I'm not, but maybe I should wait and see where they get to to see whether it leads to something. And, and either way, your theology is not bothered. In other words, it, neither way, if information really turns out to be the fundamental source of reality or you, you're, it's the quantum physics laws that are described by the information, not, neither one affects the kind of God you would believe in? I don't, I don't see that it would. I mean, it, in other words, I could, I could take either one to be sort of the, the most basic element of our universe, but in any case, I could say our universe is something that God is, has, God has created. So. I, I might make an argument that, that says the laws of physics are, seem to be very complicated, even though they, in one sense, uh, simple uh, compared to all the structures in the world, but they are complex. And if they emerged out of something very simple in an information uh, 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 digital way, a zero, okay. one, and a combination of them, that's very simple. Right. You know, that might weaken, if I believe in God, an argument for God. Because then, I think one of the arguments uh, uh, for God is, is a simple explanation. Some people may agree with that or not. But if you have a simple explanation 
for the physical world by itself without a god, I think that gives it a stronger sense of uh, a claim to, to ultimate reality. Well, I mean, okay, so in other words, you might be willing to stop at the universe as a brute fact, if the, it, it, as the ultimate brute fact or something, if, if, if it, it was by itself, simple. If, it, it, if it itself was, was simple. Now, I, of course, I, I don't know, I have to see this to see, because, I mean, the, the view of God as the, as the greatest possible being also sounds simple. Now, you have to flesh that out, but what do you, yeah, you, know, no, what do you mean by that? But it, 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 that's, so that's, that's an argument for the existence of God. I would accept right. that, because God is a simple explanation. Right, right. Uh, I, I think that is a good argument for God. And, and when I see the physical world, quantum mechanics, general relativity, all these things, the, law, the constants of physics, that's a complicated, uh, uh, you know, the quantum foam bubbling uh, uh, virtual particles, it's all complicated. Uh, but if I saw all of that derived from a very simple informational based reality, you know, that might make, you know, tilt, tilt my head a little bit. Yes, I, although I might have thought that maybe God likes elegance and he would like to create the universe the simplest way. So, I mean, if there really was a way to create a universe with sentient beings like us and that, that could appreciate him and appreciate just living, then if God found a way to do it through these, this information and some binary something that was very elegant, then I would think that might be a way for God to to use it. There's always a way to save God. <laughs> yeah, and, well, and I think Raphael Busso asked me for years, you know, what, what evidence would you need that would lead you not to believe in God? Yeah. And in some sense, I always thought that if, if I really found out the universe were just infinitely complex and chaotic and whatever, then maybe I wouldn't have, I'd have much less reason for believing in God. Now, it's a little hard to imagine how I could even exist in that sort of universe. And of course, I know so much about the even if the future became chaotic, I, if I had a memory of this path part that seems fairly ordered, it would, I, the whole thing would not be nearly as complex as it yeah. could have been. So, so in some sense, I guess I tend to think the simpler picture of the universe might even give more evidence for yeah. God. Uh, you know, now you're raising the question, if, this, if the picture of the universe itself got even simpler than the picture of God, then you know, what happens then? Well, yeah, that might be a point at which you do it. I, I don't think Dawkins is, is right in, in saying that, that the universe, you know, with God is, is more complex than the universe with, uh, without God. I think, I think when I postulate God, I think, in my view, it makes the whole world, including God, simpler than just the universe without God.